Ghost Hunter Richie here, uh, and in this video I bring to you two Pokemon Japanese Neo Genesis Starter Deck openings. I purchased four of these. I paid $150 shipped for all four of them. Um, two of them ended up being a little dented, so these are the two that I'm going to open. Um, the other two, maybe in the future, depends on what I pull on these. Um, as you can see on the screen, I'm obviously hoping to get that Lugia, so we'll see what happens. I opened, I actually opened up a starter box of these Neo Genesis, um, and just about two years ago, in the spring of 2018, um, and I think I paid $180 for that, so sealed prices, um, sealed product prices increased, like, significantly, but these were kind of dented, and plus, this is like the main set I've been working on lately. And by lately, I mean like the past two years, so. It's always nice to open up some fresh Pokemon stuff, especially, like I was saying, how much they cost. So in this box, you actually get two holographic cards. And a rare, uh, if I remember correctly. And a boatload of energy cards. So you get, that's all, this is all just energies. Got those, got the book here. Shows the cards and all that stuff. There's always some cool artwork like that. Ella Kid. See what else they got here. A palm. Such vintage, nostalgic artwork. I love how they did that stuff. So there's that little booklet. All right. So the holographic cards are in the front. You got this little tape on it. So I'm gonna try to do this in a way where I'm not damaging the cards, which I'm failing at, so. Man, this one was tough. This one there pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put this, these two down all kind of off camera here. All right, cool. Now the back stuff's just a bunch of energies, so I'm gonna get that stuff out of here. Move all this stuff. So, like I said, I'm looking for the Lugia, um, but one thing else that I'm looking for, it's probably a super long shot. Um, and when I opened the starter box two years ago, I got this Typhlosion. In the English set, it's got 60 plus. So there is a corrected version. As a matter of fact, as I'm making this video, somebody just sold a PSA 9 one online on eBay. I think it was like 78 bucks or something. I thought about it, but I don't like PSA cards. So I'm not paying a premium for that. Um, so let's see what we got here. I'll just kind of go through them. You guys know who the Pokemon are. It's, camera's not out of focus. That's how the car is. Pseudo Wudo. There's a fan favorite. One of my least favorite. Always preferred Raichu. Love Onyx, and I love this card. The Pokemon whose name is spelled the same front and back. So here is a rare. It's Murkrow. As you can see the rare symbol there. Non hollow rare. And 
And it's funny because when I opened my starter box up in 2018, I said that I believe there's a conspiracy with these starter decks that they're trying to stuff in as many metal slash steel and dark energy because they were introduced in this generation. So I wish I would have started the video off saying that because I got a Murkrow dark Pokemon in the dark energy already. So it's and it's funny that those two were rares and they're still stuffed in. There's now we're going back to like some common cards again. One of the most overused lines in the video games. People love the Marie Ampharos line. Couple of repeats I've noticed. Now some trainer cards. So here's a censored artwork that Wizards of the Coast didn't want to use for the Moo Moo Milk card. I got about four or five of these out of that last starter box. The other one is the arcade game artwork that was also censored. I'll see if I get that in the next one. Alright, so there you have it. Now it's time for the review of the hollow, so I'll do the first one. You can see it's kind of off-centered. Luckily, I don't care about PSA, but sorry for you guys who do. <laughs> There's the steel energy. The conspiracy theory continues. I told you, I'm, I'm on to something. All right, so there's that. That was the second one. So now we're going to check, take a look at what was on top. Let's we'll leave that up here shortly. All right. This is the hollow that was on top, also off-centered. Let's take a look. The Steelix. So I got the two Steel types and I got the two Dark types. So, go figure. God, what a beautiful holographic card. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. So, unfortunately, I had these two hollows already. Um, but it's, it's always cool to have multiples for binders and trading and all that good stuff. All right, so. On to the next one. And I'm just gonna cut it here so I can move this stuff out and then I'll just be right back. All right, I'm back here for part number two. Um, so this part should be a little quicker. Um, I already showed the stuff that was inside, so I'll mainly just focus on the cards here and mainly the holographic. So I'll go through everything a little quicker this time. I think I might have missed the coins, though, in the first part. Oh, there we go. There's the coin. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing again. Try to get this energy card out of here. All right, that made it a lot easier. So I'm gonna put the first two down, which are the hollows. Move that stuff here. Show you the coin. Lugia coin. Put that back there. And we start off with a snubble again, just like the last one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Alright, so there's that snubble. I'll just go through these a little quicker. So some of these I don't remember seeing in the last one, like Natsu and Zatsu, but like Pikachu, I do. Giraffe rig. Now we're at the trainers. This is a rare trainer. Hey, there it is. 
This is also a rare trainer and it's censored artwork, the arcade game. Because they had the word slot, I don't think Wizards of the Coast wanted to use that in the US or in the English sets. So that's a cool one. It's one of my favorite trainer cards. Just because I like gambling and using the uh, game corner and the games and all that stuff. So that's like right up my alley. And the coincidence is in the game, uh, there's a gamer named Rich in the game. And like Leaf Green and Fire Red. Near, near Lavender Town too, where the ghost Pokemon are. So here we go with this one again. Another, so two censored artworks. Pretty cool. Throw these energies over here. Let's check out the hollows. One of them I already saw actually, so I'll do that one first. It was the one on top. Might have seen it too. But it's a hair cross, and I don't have this one, so this is awesome. And I love how Pincer is there in this card. Make sure that's showing up. There's the centering for you guys interested in that. Not too good. One of the staples of Gen 2. One of the ones Ash caught pretty quickly too. Let's see if this focuses again. There we go. All right. It's time for the second hollow. Ah. Azumarill. Was never really big into the marrow. I just call him Pika Blue. I'm not even sure how to pronounce this freaking thing's name. Azumaru, I think it is. I just call it Pika Blue too. There's the original Pika Blue. I don't think I have this one either, actually, so it works out. You can really see the rainbow effect on these Japanese hollows. Alright, so there's the two that I got in this one. So I actually have one more that I'm going to open. I'll just cut and I'll get everything set, set up for that. Alright, part three. Let's get it. I decided I'm going to open up three um, instead of two. That'll give me that one left that's sealed. Um, that eventually I'll probably open. Um, but for now, figure let's see if I can get lucky. Sometimes you start opening these and you just can't stop. Alright, I'll try to do this again without me, but that's spoiling it for myself too. Throw this right over there. Get this one energy card out. All right, I'm gonna put the hollows down over here. And I, yet again, another snubble starts it off. So that's what it started like. Get rid of all the energy cards. All right, I'll go through these really quick again. Noctowl is also one of my favorites. So is Gligar, especially when it's shiny. So here's a rare. Rare trainer. Oh, and a Magby rare. Magby non-hollow rare. Pika Blue. And these should all be trainers. See if I get another one of those band ones. Nope. All 
All right, so here we go. The last two. This is the second hollow, and you can see it's really off-centered. <laughs> this is really off-centered on the back. Ooh. Ooh. For alligator. One of my favorites. That's a cool pool. That's a good one. I've never seen Japanese cards that off center before, unfortunately. All right, so here we go. Equally bad centering. Let's see what it is. Ampharos, not bad. Not bad at all. This one, the centering's not as noticeable because it's an electric type. So pretty cool. So there you have it. I'll show you the uh, rares, the hollows recap here. Start off with a dark energy non hollow rare. Murkrow. This trainer. The arcade game censored artwork trainer. The Magby. I think her name's Mary. And, and then two of these censored artworks for the Moo Moo Milk. Then for the hollows, had it started it off with a, actually started it off with the conspiracy theory cards, Steelix and the Steel Energy in the same deck. Then it was a Hair Cross, Azumarill, Pika Blue Two, Ampharos, and this awesome for Alligator. So I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more. I'm not sure when I'm going to be opening. Next, um, I do plan on buying a few things. At some point, I'll probably open up that last deck that I have, but um, I'll think about it. But just let me know what you guys thought, your favorite hollow, and if you've opened these before. Thanks. I was going to say uh, before I open this, but I forgot. If I, I was going to pull a duplicate, I would have guessed it would have been either Steelix or Skarmory the most because Steel types were new in this generation i figure they might want to just throw those out to people hey everyone my name is rich welcoming you back to my channel and in this video i will be opening yes you heard me right i not we does that piss anyone else off when you're watching a pokemon opening video and they say we're gonna open up this booster box today I'm thinking to myself, if we're going to open up this booster box today, why don't you do me a favor? Go in your corner where you put those 10 seal packs that you plan on keeping sealed for 75 years. Put them in that postage prepaid envelope with my name on it. Mail them back to this side of the video so we can continue opening up the cards. And when we're done opening them up, we'll go in that corner to where my binder is and we'll put them in my binder to complete my collection. So with that introduction out of the way, I am showing you a sealed Pokemon Neo Genesis starter box. This has eight starter decks inside. Each starter deck actually comes with two holographic cards um, in the Japanese version. This set was released in Japan actually in 1999 um, and it comes with 96 cards in the set. Um, as opposed to the English set comes with 111. Uh, notably missing are this a few of the starter uh, Pokemon cards. So, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to crack into this um, and see what hollows I can pull here. I think I have a very good chance of completing the set. Um, I actually do have two holo cards from the set already, Skarmory and Togetic. 
box is pretty heavy. All right, the plastic is off. Lugia is ready. Wow. Kind of looks cooler with Lugia out like that. Alright, so here's what the starter deck looks like. There's the coin that comes with the Lugia coin. Um, so, just going to start opening this up. I believe these are the energy cards. Yeah, it's just a bunch of energy cards that I have no use for. Oh, plastic Lugia coin. The booklet. All right, nobody cares about that stuff. Just open up the cards. Alright, so, the holographic cards are going to be on the front, uh, and I realize this is blocking me. Hmm, wasn't expecting this to happen. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so, I'm going to be getting two holographic cards, just for suspense purposes. I'm going to be putting this face down right here. I will show you one instead of just making you wait the whole time. Alright, Kingdra. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is actually zoom in a little. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let me move this box really quick before I knock that down. It's like inevitable. Just appreciating this. I'm going to slow roll this first uh, deck, first box here. So I got the hollow holographic Kingdra. Alright, Centric, Horsey, Swinub, Furret. I'm going to remove these energy cards, which. I don't want. I'm gonna put them on my CRT tube TV over there. Things that are irrelevant in this video. Cedra. Uh, Pilar Swine. Sudowoodo. There's Pikachu. Slowpoke. Giraffe Rig. Shuckle, Oddish, Trainers that I don't remember the names of, this is actually a rare, this might be like, this looks like the Pokey Gear, but I have no idea what the trainer name actually is. Another rare. You get two rares in this too as well. So my two rares were both trainers. Um, continuing with the Pokemon, Sunkern, Spinarak, Chikorita, Sunflora, uh, Eridos, Bayleaf, Mantine, Meryl. Probably Super Rod or one of those. I don't know what everyone's thinking about this card. Yep, we know. This is the banned Japanese artwork because Americans are, uh, for lack of better terms, pussies over here. Um, they couldn't handle this 
Centret sucking on Tits McGee, so they had to change that artwork in English. There, I said it. Um, Fanfy, that's it. So try my best not to scratch it. All right, let's check it out. On Ampharos. Should have put a lighthouse in the back. I think about that every time I see this Pokemon. All right, so I got my sleeves here so people won't get upset. And let me know in the comments section what you think um, about the Japanese hollow patterns versus the English hollow patterns. I know people are obsessed with these little swirls on these cards. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. It's got that swirl effect. I don't know if it has a name or not to it, but... Alright, so that's cool. Um, I like Kingdra a lot. Um, in the English set, Kingdra came in a theme deck. kind of sucked because it was such a badass in the game. And when you get a theme deck hollow, it's like... It's so easy to get, so it takes away from, you know, the significance of it. I guess. That's, those are always my thoughts. Um, continually, continuing right along here. Oh, I just scared the hell out of my dog. I guess that's the one disadvantage of opening up these kind of starter decks. Is you get a lot of stuff with it. So I try to move all this out of the way. These stupid energies that nobody wants. Here, you know what? We're going to open up these energies. And I'm going to give those to you guys. Oh, you don't want those? Alright. So, Skarmory. Uh, a Steel Energy Hollow, which is very difficult to grade in English set. Um, so I'm going to put these hollows right over here. So I already had Skarmory. Uh, I didn't pull it from these sets, but I've had that before. Pichu. Sloking. Almost halfway through this starter box already. And then the, the last half of the box, the last four, I'm just going to go right to the hollow. Alright. Typhlosion. A lot of people like this one. I prefer the other um, card of Typhlosion. I'll go back and um, 
show the hollows a little bit more in detail. Another slow king. First duplicate for me, putting a damper on, completing the full set. So I got a pretty big stack here. Um, <laughs> that's gotta be like a near complete set, I would imagine. All right, so there's four um, starter deck boxes left that are sealed. I might speed the video up and what I'm going to do is basically open all these and just put the hollows to the side. Uh, starter deck boxes have been open. Move that aside a little. Bluey is awesome. Hoping I'm getting a hollow. Alright, so here's the hollows without for any further ado. Jump Pluff. <laughs> Another Slow King. Steelix. I was going to say uh, before I opened this, but I forgot, if I I was going to pull a duplicate, I would have guessed it would have been either Steelix or Skarmory the most, because Steel types were new in this generation. I figured they might want to just throw those out to people. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is what I was, this is what I meant, another Steel Energy. <laughs> another Steelix. Another Steel Energy. I swear I didn't look at these. Another Jump Luff. And I got one, <laughs> one holographic card left. And it's another Kingdra. So, I... <laughs> a lot of duplicates um, that I wasn't expecting. Guess I've never actually really seen anyone open a full starter box. Uh, I've seen people open up plenty of this uh, single um, starter decks. So just to recap. Uh, Kingdra. Ampharos. Kingdra. Jump Bluff. Steel Energy, Steelix, Steel Energy, Steelix, Sloking, Jump Luff, Sloking, Typhlosion, Sloking, uh, Pichu, uh, Steel Energy, Skarmory. And I already had a Skarmory, so. <laughs> That's this box summed up. In one still frame. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um. 
I got a lot of steel type cards, which was my prediction. Um, I do plan on opening up some more product. Um, please let me know if you have any suggestions. As always, stay tuned for more shiny hunting videos, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and at least it was something different, I guess. Take care. It's your Venusaur's Jungle here, and it's time, finally time, to open this sealed Neo Genesis booster box. I know a lot of you have been waiting. I thought about trading this box, I thought about selling it, but ultimately I, I bought this intending on opening it and adding the cards to my collection, and that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's, let's finally open up this box that has been sealed. For a very long time. This opening will consist of two separate parts, of course, like everybody's opening videos online. And here it is Neo Genesis. By the way, these boxes are a lot smaller than they appear on these videos. If you haven't opened up one of these before, just to scale, look, here's my water bottle. It's basically the same. It's smaller than a water bottle. So this, these are unlimited, of course. Here's two of the pack arts. Typhlosion, Lugia, for alligator, which is one of my favorite starters. And Meganium, even though it's grass type. I like for alligator better. In fact, my goals are to pull both for alligator hollow variants and Lugia, of course. That's the big one. So, I don't know how we're going to do this. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, Alright, so I got two sets of nine, so that's 18, and then the rest will be in the box here. That will be for the next video. I'm going to start things off fresh with the Lugia pack. These packs are like really like intact, nice and fresh, but that ends right now. So, uh, in the meantime, I ha I know you guys saw my video where I said I wouldn't be uploading stuff as much because of financial stuff. That was basically because me and my girlfriend got our first house. We now have been living in the house for three weeks. It's been awesome. So, I was saving up a lot of money for that. And I don't remember the card trick here. But now I got this whole house to myself. I'm going to do these videos a lot more often. I've been doing a lot of game videos I've been trying to shiny hunt for a totodile, shiny totodile so stay tuned for videos like that in the meantime I don't remember the card trick in fact though I think Neo in the Neo sets the hollows in the back already so or the rare I should say oh here's our rare it's a Magby so okay so it's just the energy or whatever is probably the last card. Alright, so we just got a rare in that in our first pack. Typhlosion. A lot of people's favorite uh, starter from Gen 2. I've been in a huge Gen 2 kick. Whatever that means. Just been obsessed with the cards, the games, everything from it. So we got Pikachu here, Slowpoke, Mantine, Chikorita, Girafferig, Moo Moo Milk, Miracle Berry, Quagsire, Togepi, Energy Charge, that's our rare, 
and an energy. So it looks like the last one's always going to be an energy. Since this was a base set, so they had to give energies out. For Alligator Pack. I love for Alligator. That's actually his artwork on the, the one card that I want. But I like the other artwork a little better. So if you've watched other openings of this of these packs, you already know that these card conditions don't come in the greatest shape. So whenever I pull a hollow, we'll put that theory to the test for this pack at least. For this box, I should say. Quill Lava. And so we haven't pulled a hollow yet. That was our rare super energy retrieval. Maybe Meganium will be the first pack. So right now I am 0 for 3. The law of averages say this pack should have the hollow. But I like screwed up the order when I was taking the packs out. Oh my god, it's my favorite card. There's Totada with a beast. Hop it. Centric. Galigar. Who doesn't learn Earthquake in Gen 2 games for some reason, even though it's a ground type. Super Rod. Apalm. Goldberry. Bayleaf. And I believe the next is. Nope. Oh, uh, yeah, this, this is our rare. So no hollow yet again. I don't know why I was shaking that like it was a hollow. So yeah, Gligar, the reason why I was upset about that. It's because I was doing that flying type. You can check out my videos. I was doing a mono type run in Crystal with all flying type and Gligar's ground flying. And Earthquake would have been super helpful in battling the Elite Four. And I didn't find out until after I tried teaching him Earthquake that he doesn't even learn it. Fighting Energy. Whooper. Pikachu, Slowpoke, Mantine, Chikorita, Girafferig, Laffy, Miltank, Croconaw, and another rare. This is awful starting off. This is awful. Five packs, no hollows, all these cards, and nothing but non hollow rares, and two, a double. Duplicate energy non hollow rare. To make things even worse. This is probably always going to be an energy card, so I'm probably just going to start throwing it to the side. Cyndaquil. Totodow. Spinarak. Sunkern. Slowpoke. Pikachu. Lantern. Skip Plume. Card flip game, the next should be the rare. It's going to be a hollow. Another Murkrow? What kind of box is this? O for 6 to start things off. Whoops. I'm going to knock these down. Actually, I'm just going to do this. Alright, Meganium. Fire energy. Waiting for it to zoom. Or focus, I should say. Gligar. There it is. Natu. Centret. Sudowoodo. Hoppet. Super Rod. Sunflora. Gloom. Noctail. Hey, finally. A Meganium from a Meganium pack. And it's our first hollow. Let's check the back on this. Doesn't look like it's centered right for those who are interested in PSA, which I'm not. I'm using a webcam, that's why the zoom the focus is kind of weird. The front of it looks really up oh, nope, there's a factory line. 
Let me see if I can. I know people are interested in this stuff. It's. Oh, you can probably see it right now. It's like right there. You can kind of see a line going through. Oh well, that's enough of that. Alright, so first hollow, meganium. Not too bad. But I really went for alligator. So I'll sleeve this. And I'll just put it there for now. Alright, so continuing with hopefully a bunch of hollows in a row considering all the nine hollows in a row fire energy ladybug Meryl Cyndaquil Onyx Shuckle Double Gust Card Flip Game Pilly Swine Magmar for alligator the one I wanted. The one that looks like this pack art. Beautiful. Man, look at the sparkles on this. Yep, these cards have those little factory lines in them. So this would only get a PSA 9. That's a shame. But I only like, I like mint cards, so I don't really care. And I'll show you the binder setup I have, so it'll, it'll look cooler in the binder anyway. So now all I need is the other for alligator and a Ouija. So I got two of the starters, although it's not saying much consider there's, considering there's six out of the 19 hollows in the set are actually starters. I think that's what it is anyway. Alright, so Lugia. Now let's think. Besides for alligator and Lugia. What's the oh, cool hollows? It's Typhlosion. Skarmory. I like those. I like the steel hollows. So we got Fire Energy. Giraffarig. Mareep. Oddish. Cyndaquil, Stantler, Swinub, Laffy, Togepi, Quagsire, Eco Gym is the rare. Meganium. What is your favorite hollow in this set? Leave a comment in the description below. Electric Energy. Chikorita. Hoot Hoot. I love Alice. Chick Chin Chow. Ladybug. Meryl. Onyx. Crocknall. Miltank. Flaffy. Time Capsules are rare. Got a lot of rare energy. Or, I'm sorry, trainers. Not a lot of non hollow rare Pokemon except Murkrow, which we got two of. We got Magby. That's it, I think. What's your favorite non hollow in the set? I'm torn between Noctale and Zatu. These are my two favorite non hollow cards. And an arcade game, non hollow, rare trainer. So now we're getting close to the actual like, top of the box. Psychic Energy, Centric, 
Pop it. Sudowoodo. Super Rod. Chinchow. Hoot Hoot. Quilava. New Pokedex. Clefairy. Mary. Clefairy and then Mary. So we've only got two hollows so far. And these are the packs remaining. Six. For this part. There's our energy. Totodile. Horsey. Gligar. Natu, Sentry, Sudowoodo, Miracle Berry, New Pokedex, Quill Lava, hey, a Slow King Hollow. Let's check out the back. A little dense. Yeah, the max these cards will get are nines. If they were, if anybody is like thinking about trying to trade me, which I'm not trading these anyway, I also get duplicates. Slow King, Hollow number three. Alright, this part is taking way too long, so I'm going to try to open this up quick. Alright, we got another hollow, hair cross. Factory line straight up top, too. Might be able to see it. They're all like in the same spot too. I just finished watching so I'm watching the Johto episodes online. Just finished watching the one where Ash caught a hair cross, even though he doesn't actually catch it. Just besides, it was a follow him, like most of his Pokemon on, that he gets. Cleffa, that's our rare. It would be cool to pull a Typhlosion, actually, because then I'd get all three starters in this first part, despite a long beginning of non hollow rares. There's Steelix, Steel type, obviously. This one looks really good, though. These Steel, this. The metal uh, energy hollows look good. I think it's because they have the black background. Maybe that has some sort of effect on it. So one of these packs, if they have a hollow, then we pretty much got the average. Six out of the first part. Be six out of 18. Kind of want to get six highlights in the first part and six in the second. That's the average. Assuming you're getting 12. Non hollow rare energy charge. Alright, last pack. I'm going to set the 20 minute mark.
Let's see if we can get anything here. Let's see if we can get that Typhlosion. Nope, jump off. So we end with a jump off, but at least it's a hollow. And at least we end it part one with six hollows. So that's not too bad. No Lugia yet. But we did get for Alligator. Now I just need the, the other one. So I'll just quickly go over the hollows again. For this part one, Meganium. For Alligator, Jump Bluff, Steelix, Heracross, and Slowking. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this first part of the opening. I know I did despite the slow start, despite the long uh, 20 minute opening. But these cards are really cool. Alright, stay tuned for part number two. Thanks. Hi, welcome back to part number two of my Neo Genesis booster box opening. In the first part, here's the hollows that I pulled. Jump Bluff, Steelix, Heracross, Slowking, Meganium, and my favorite, Feraligator. I do actually like the other one better. The other hollow. So, we have 18 packs left. Just going to go ahead and open them. Obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first part. It took forever. I mean forever to get a hollow. For the first time in that last part. Try not to repeat that here. Maybe start things off with that Lugia that everybody likes to see. Oops. I'll try not to make this part as long as it doesn't matter anyway you can obviously just skip through all right our energy is a lightning energy Mareep, oddish stantler cyndaquil swino a berry a clefairy and a ladian oh wait and is that too and a typhlosion for some reason, I thought that Ladian was a, a rare. I got ahead of myself for no reason at all. Typhlosion, you can see that factory line right in the middle. Which is why these packs usually don't get open much anymore. Look how crystal clear that is. So you can see my camera there. So I'll sleeve this up. A great way to start off the second part here. Now I have at least one of the... All three starters. Typhlosion. Most people's favorite starter from Generation 2. For one reason or another. Slowpoke, Pikachu, Mantine, Chikorita, Focus. For some reason it's not focusing. Moomoo Milk, Giraffe Rig, Ladian, Zatu, Professor Elm, Elekid, non Holly Rare. Or Alligator Pack Art. See if I can open these the right way. Way too hard. Maybe I'll get lucky and one of these won't be an energy. Don fans are rare, non hollow.
Yeah, you don't really see Lugia get pulled very often. Like, I feel like I see Charizard pulled way more often than I've seen Lugia pulled. Then again, base set packs get open so much more than Neo Genesis. I actually got a pack open the right way. Psychic. Toad it out. Pop it. Sentry. Gligar. Super Rod. Sudowoodo. Skip Plume. Lantern. Croconaw. Oh, and Ampharos. That's a hollow. Try to move up there. See what this. See, the hollows with the black backgrounds have all been in like great shape. Except that Nick there. Still mint quality. And you will not find that online. For people selling them on eBay. That's the sad part. Then again, it's not really their fault. The cards are just so old. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to open those base set packs. I've already opened plenty of those in the past. Plus the value on those are only going to rise. The problem is the packs aren't in good shape. So it's a dilemma. And I got them for such a good deal. That's our rare. Focus band. Non-hollow. Trainer. So we got about four hollers left. Hopefully we get no duplicates. Lugia would be nice. Actually, it'd be really nice. I showed that second corral here. I just want to get Lugia just to say I pulled Lugia. It is a cool looking holler though. There's Azumarill. Azumarill, whatever. Three hollers left already. Pop it. Super Rod, Chikorita, Hoot Hoot, Chin Chow, Ladybug, Cliff Fairy, Fanfy, Bay Leaf. Poke year, non hollow rare trainer. Send a quill, shuckle, double gust, sun current, spin a rack, toe to new Pokedex. Quill Lava, Caramble, and a Pichu. They've all, like every hollow except for the black background ones, all have that line you can see right there running straight across. Psychic, Fairy, Pokemon March, Snubble again, Totodile again, Chikorita again, Chinchow again, Presser Elm, Bayleaf, Fanfy, and a Sneasel, not highly rare.
All right, so we got Chikorita, Onyx, Meryl, Ladybug, Double Gust, Shuckle, Bailey, Fanfy, Furret, and Dompan's not highly rare. Sudowoodo, which is like, looks like it's all blurry. And I'll never focus in on that. Wooper, Pikachu, Slowpoke, Mantine, Chikorita, Togepi, Quagsire, Miracle Berry, and this Recycle Energy. It's our rare. I like the buzz. It's the first time I remember seeing that. Sneasel. Nine hollow rare. Alright, let's just let's just skip to the chase. And our rare is Focus Band. And our rare is this metal energy. It's a hollow. That means there's one left, probably. And if, as fate would have it, I have all four pack arts left. Could a Lugia be in one of these? Which one is going to have the hollow? And it's a Skarmory. So we're not going to get a Lugia. Skarmory is cool. I have already had the Japanese hollow version of it. So I got three seal packs. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. I might just buy another for alligator pack that's sealed and just keep the four artworks. Or I'll just open these up in another video. So I guess we can just go through all the hollows again. So we got Skarmory, Metal Energy, Pichu, Azumarill. Ampharos, Typhlosion, Feraligator, and Meganium, Slowking, Heracross, Steelix, and Jumpluff. So no Lugia, no second variants of any of the starters, unfortunately. But I did get a Feraligator, which is something I really wanted. And I still have three packs left to open at a future time to keep sealed. I don't know yet, but... I hope you guys enjoyed these openings. 
As expected, the factory lines were in most of the hollows, and the condition coming out of the pack still mint, but not gem mint, but great for my collection purposes. So it was a really fun opening this box. Stay tuned for more. Over six months ago, I made a video where I asked, questioned, and pondered how is it that Ghastly, of all Pokemon, can talk? It's not a legendary type. It's not a psychic type. Hell, it's not even the strongest ghost type, yet it, Ghastly, a 32-ounce gas ball that by force gets carried with the wind, yet by will can travel through dimensions. <laughs> But little did I know questioning Ghastly would come back to haunt me. It, Ghastly, Haunter and Gengar haunted me. They tricked me. They lurked, mocked, laughed at me. For over six months and I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't find them. I, I hunted. I tried by myself. I tried hunting. I could not find them. All I would hear is laughter. <laughs> but then, with patience, with thinking, with knowing them, knowing ghost type, I was able to locate them. I found their cave, you see. I have it right here, in a box, near fossils, because fossils are the remaining of the living. Fossils represent death. Ghosts love death. And now, Ghastly Hunter Gengar, you... All right, it's time. Fossil Unlimited Booster Box, AKA Ghastly Haunter Gengar. You are being found, captured, becoming part of my collection. I don't care about Dragonite, or B-Tops, or Lapras. I'm going after those ghosts, baby. Let's do it. All the packs are open, and I think Haunter and Gengar... Gengar. Don't think that I'm going to open Aerodactyl packs first. Because that's where I think the ghosts are hiding, in a fossil Pokemon pack art. But they probably have kind of that I would open the other pack arts first. So I'm gonna outsmart them. So we have a Moltres Hollow on our first pack. Not a Gengar, but a Moltres is nice. Fossil cards, conditions. Not very good, as you can see. There is a non hollow Gengar. Gengar. Condition on this is this is hideous. There's some sort of residue. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Hmm. 
might not be able to see it, but there's like some strange residue that's on the card. That's just them trolling me, I know it. <laughs> Realistically, it's the condition of fossil. Hopefully the lighting is okay here. Non hollow hit no. There we go. Look at that beautiful Haunter Hollow. I knew I'd outsmart them. Haunter, you are mine. Beautiful. Let's check the back here. Hey, it's actually not too bad, really. I like that a lot. This is probably my favorite card in the set, to be honest. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so we got two hollows. More importantly, two ghost Pokemon. Here's a non hollow Moltres. Ghastly is an uncommon in this set. We haven't found him yet. Another non hollow hypno. Non hollow kaboo tops. Aha. We have found ghastly. Little sneak. Brick wall. But he's not talking now, are you? Non-hollow Lapras. Four Aerodactyl packs for me. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hollow Gengar. Hollow Haunter. Let's see ya. 
factory line. But you will not haunt me anymore, sir. I was right. I knew that they would be hiding in these fossil Pokemon pack arts. Non hollow rare Lapras again. Feel like every pack starts off with a freaking Geo dude. Nevertheless, the ghost hunt continues. And there's a hollow muck. One of the easier hollows to get. And a non hollow rare Articuno. However, as I sleeve these, Uncommon Ghastly, <laughs> my favorite card in the set, Hollow Rare Haunter, <laughs> and then not to be outdone, Hollow Rare Gengar. Gengar. So all three Hollow Ghosts, excuse me, two Hollow Ghosts, and the Uncommon Ghastly, have been found in this parking lot. Now what awaits us in parts two and three? Maybe something that might interest you. I know a lot of people like Dragonite. Screw Dragonite. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Part number two. What more ghosts could we find? Non Hollow Raichu. Hollow Articuno and another ghastly <laughs> in the shadows. Non hollow magneton and another guess. Nine Hollow Moltres.
Non Hollow Moltres. And I guess. Non Hollow Magneton. A lot of duplicates this part two. So far only one holographic. Hollow Articuno. Non hollow cubby tops. Another hollow Articuno. My first, my first double holographic. Yes. luck. This is a fan favorite. Off center there, as you can see. It's more so to the left side of the card. Which is a shame, really. Curse of the Ghastly. Non hollow Kitmonly. Two packs remain of this part three. I'm sorry, part two. Zapdos pack art opens. Non hollow Articuno. Plenty of ghastlies in this <laughs> part, though, however. Five of them so far. For what it's worth. Last Zapdos pack. And there's the fan favorite. The Dragonite Holographic 100 HP. For those of you who like rainbow backgrounds, let's check the back. Off center, like the ditto. The hollow looks good. So that was a nice way to end this Hollow Dragon Egg. But more importantly, look at all these gases. I hope you enjoyed this part. Stay tuned for part number three. This is part number three, the final part of the Fossil Unlimited Booster Box opening. 
aka the ghost hunt for Ghastly Hopper and Gengar, which we have found plenty of. Speak of the ghost. As we start off with a non hollow Lapras and a Lapras Pepper. There's another ghost that we were looking for. Another non hollow game. I would prefer the non hollow hunter. That would be me in that part. Should be expecting four more hollows still. Not hollow magneton. First hollow of this part number three. A non hollow hypno. Second holographic of this part. Not how it'll hit my name. Four packs from Just four. And two of them should have hollows. Oh, there's a to that ghastly, of course, as you will imagine. Terrible cinnamon color. From top to bottom. Three packs for me. Still a good chance to pull a non hollow haunter. Non hollow lapis instead. Up 
last pack. Not how the heck are we really nice. But it's not how we ride shooting stick. So, the booster box opening has been completed. However, I did find what I was looking for. Gasoline, plenty of them. A hollow haunter. And a hollow gangler. And for the rest of them, I think I have the hollow saki. This, we have that hollow aerodactyl. Hollow magneton. Hollow Raichu. Hollow Raps. And in the other parts, we started off with this Hollow Moltres. Hollow Muck. Two Hollow Articunos. Hollow Ditto. And. Hollow Dragonite. So I hope you enjoyed me capturing these ghosts. And if not, then watch out because they'll probably be coming for you as well. Isn't that right? Guess. Hey friends, it's your Venusaurus Jungle here, and in this video, I will be opening a Pokemon Top Series 3 Booster Box. It consists of 36 packs, 8 cards per pack, and you can also get some really cool inserts. And I believe this will be the first one on YouTube. I've seen a bunch of videos of people opening the regular packs of these, but not the actual box like this. I actually opened one up. I was going to make a video of this, but to make a long story short, there's just a couple, like, camera issues, I guess you could say. So here's like, some cool cards I got. Some cool insert cards. This makes, like, a puzzle piece. So I'm going to get the gas so you can complete this. And a Kakuna and a Weedle for the bee drill on. And then, of course, you can get hollows like this. You get a hollow on each pack. So we'll see what we can get in this box. I never realized how small these boxes are too. You can see it fits right in my palm. Let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, we got our box open here. We're ready to go. I'll just show you the pack cards real quick. There's three different ones. First one is Pikachu of Ash here. Then we got a Charizard doing a flamethrower. And Lapras. Who is like the star of the Orange Island series, by the way. If you didn't know, these cards feature Orange Island episode cards. That's probably one reason why these are hard to find. They weren't as produced as much. Since they were kind of like at the decline of the phenomena. Pokemon was so hot though, that's for sure. This also is this first top set to feature Mew. Which is a highly sought after card. That could be another reason why. Alright, so we got Professor Oak. Here's an episode card, Crystal Onyx. I think a lot of us remember this card. Or this episode, I should say. At least it was one of the most memorable, memorable Orange Islands episodes for me. Staryu. Oh yeah, these cards stick a lot. I had this big problem in the first one. And as you can see, unfortunately, on that Lapras, the, avert, the card from the star you gets stuck on there. It kind of sucks. But we got Lapras. We got a Hollow here. It's Tracy Sketchit. I think a lot of people didn't like this guy because he replaced Brock, Brock essentially. Then we got Oreo. We got another episode card. And this is a puzzle piece. 
So there's six cards to this and complete a puzzle set. All right, let's do number pack number two. This is a real fun set to open up in the summertime since the Orange Island theme has like a beachy summer feel to it. Pokemon episode card. Another one, this is a funny looking one. Snorlax snack attack. Another puzzle piece. And on the back, they got Jesse there. Got Meryl. This is an insert card. This is a pop up card. So it's perforated. You push this in, the Pikachu will actually pop up. Here's our Hollow Crystal Onyx episode. Episode card, and then we got Brock. I like these uh, seri animation three series cards better than series one because the Pokemon in it are actually doing like moves and attacks. If we ever get one, which is funny, we get all these episode cards. So this is what most of the Series 1 cards look like, it's just the Pokemon art form. But a lot of the Series 3 will look like this. Mr. Mime doing an attack like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Whereas like the Dratini here is just kind of standard, but it does have a really cool background. Just for the three Dragon types. Only three Dragon types of the original 151, so they did something special for them. Got our Hollow Ditto. Magmar, really cool. It's probably one of my favorite of this Series 3 set. Which, by the way, starts at Pokemon number 118, Goldeen. Finishes with 151 Mew. Not counting all these episode cards and character cards and stuff. So we're gonna open pack number four. Got a character in the F card. Nice Articuno. Cool Omasar doing an attack there. There's a Mew. I got the Hollow version of Mew in the first box I opened. Got our Kabuto Hollow. That's a cool episode card. I'm trying to get a Hollow Mewtwo. I already got Mew. Episode card. I feel like I got episode cards the most, even more than these Pokemon cards. Really cool Jolteon. Another episode. Here's Joy. Here's our Hollow. It's a Starmie. Cool artwork. Then we got Tracy in. Snorlax episode card or character card. And a Sea King. I don't know why. Actually, I think these are called Heroes and Villains. So cute. Yep, Heroes and Villains. Snorlax is a hero, apparently. In the episodes, anyway. I believe that Heroes and Villains set starts with the Series 2. So, top Series 1 is Pokemon number 1 through 74, I think. Series 2 is 75 through 117. Series 3 completes the 151 set. My favorite Eevee Lucian, Eevee. Here's that puzzle thing. So Jenny. Now we get the hollow part of it.
Butch from Team Rocket. Gears to finish that off. Here's a car we had already. Crystal Onyx. Kabutops. Puzzle piece. Here's a villain's card, Meryl. Hollow Goldeen. Dragonair. Calarion. And this episode card again. Charizard or Scyther. I think we'd all know who won that. It's too hard to do a car trick with this to keep the hollow in the back because the cards stick too much. So that's why I've just been going through them normally. Libris, here's our hollow. I think a lot of people like this one. Misty. Oh, there is this one anim animation uh, episode card that's kind of funny. Well, we got a huge mist cut here. You can see the side of the next card, which whoever number 136 is. Gyarados, maybe? That's kind of funny. And then we got a episode card. Articuno, Professor Oak, episode card, something stuck behind it, Snorlax, you can see the hollow here, Dragonite, this Dragonite card is awesome, because he's doing a hyper beam it looks like, Taurus, episode card, and a checklist. Which is actually part of the set itself. Very last one. Alright, we got three more packs for this part. Jolteon. Episode card. Noma Star. Mew. Something stuck behind it. I'll pop up Meryl card. It's an insert card. I never really liked Meryl. I like the buzz. Hey, just realized Meryl's a Gen 2. In a set a series with just Gen 1 Pokemon. Just made that connection. So I guess that would be really cool opening these at the time when Gen 2 wasn't introduced to the US yet. Even though it had been in Japan for two years or whatever already. A year and a half, whatever it was. Personally, I consider Gen 2 still Gen 1 anyway. Or like the originals. Maybe not Gen 1, just original. Eevee. Meowth. This car again, Tracy gets bugged. There's Joy. Here's our Hollow, it's an episode card. Misty there, but Toby. Ditto. Tracy and Snorlax. Here on the cards. This own Tracy was a villain, like I mentioned earlier. Alright, here's our last pack for part one. Let's see if we can get something good. Aerodactyl. Then again, any hollow is good, as long as I don't have it already. Shell Shocked. It's a regular Dratini. 
that episode for again. So we got the regular Dratini and then, of course, the Holly version of it. Magmar. Another puzzle piece, Pikachu brushing its teeth. And an episode card. So that's it for this first part. I hope you enjoy these cards. I know they're a little different. You hardly see anybody open these. These tops cards, I really want to try to complete the master set of this. It's going to take forever. Um, I bought both these boxes for 300 so 150 a piece. I think that's a pretty good deal. Even though this cost me more than a Topps Series 1 Chrome box, and I think those cards are a little bit more cooler. But a tougher set to complete. These sets are really tough to complete. But uh, stay tuned for part two. See what good cards I can pull. Thanks. Bye. Oh, and real quick, one card I wanted to point at that I didn't get in this part that I thought was really funny is this card, the episode card called the Mandarin Island Mismatch. This trainer named Prima. Look at the intention to detail on this card. Look at that. She's just try not to stare. I mean, I don't hate a woman or anything, but I thought this was really funny for the artist to put on a Topps cards, mainly directed towards kids, but take that as you will. So stay tuned for part two. Hope you enjoyed. See ya. It's your Venusaur's Jungle here. And in this video, I'm going to be opening a Topps Chrome booster box. I'm actually going to be opening both of these. I was going to keep them. Actually, I was going to do a trade. I was thinking about keeping them on seal because I th thought it would be cool to have a Charmeleon one. But I really want to see what Technos I get. So I'll just show you this real quick. And the special cards that come in this set are Spectra Chrome, Sparkling Chrome, and a Techno Chrome. So I got examples of each of these right here. This is what a Sparkle Chrome looks like. Look at those sparkles. You get three of these per box. So I got two of those. This is what Techno Chromes look like. I got three of them. You only get two of these per box. They got a really nice holographic pattern. As you can see on the back, it says Techno Chrome. And Spectra Chrome, you get two of these per, or every two packs, so you get about 10, I think. It doesn't exactly, there's uh, 30 packs per box, so it doesn't actually like even out to 10 because these take place. You'll see what happens. But there's a nice Spectra Chrome. Alright, so now that we got these, we can get right into this box opening. And this Charizard on the front is actually a, a base set card from the set. They just like glue it on there. So here's what the packs look like. They have Pikachu on them. Alright, let's do this. These cards are probably going to be real sticky. That's what usually happens with these. So we got a Primate is our very first one. Caterpie. Ponyta. Oh, a nice Bulbasaur there. And a Meowth. This looks like a Spectra Chrome. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Spectra Chrome on the first pack. So Spectra Chrome, one out of two packs. Sparkling Chrome, one out of 10 packs. And Techno Chrome, one out of 15. And there's 30 packs in a box. Five cards per pack, I think it is. Or whatever it is. 
six cards. So we got Paris here, and Abra. These are all the base cards, by the way. They won't have anything on the back, but they still look really awesome. Doug Trio, nice Venusaur. And look at that, a Geo dude. Spectra Chrome. So I'm gonna try to organize these somehow. Look at that Venusaur. Even though it's base, it's pretty cool. I'll put the Spectras up here. All right, here we go. Pack number thirty. I believe my opening of this is only the second on YouTube, actually. Venomoth, Poliwag, Wigglytuff, Poliwrath, oh, there's a sparkle, Fero, pretty cool. Sparkle Chrome. Nice. So we got one of our three sparkles. It'd be really awesome to get a Charizard Techno Chrome. By the way, this is Series 1. It features Pokemon's number 1 through 77, I believe. I Rapid Ash is the last one. Then the next set starts series two. So we got Polyrath, Parasect, there's a Charizard, Raichu, Ulias Blastoise, looks like a Spectra. So we got a Blastoise Spectra Chrome. Everything we've opened so far, we've got something, an insert out of. So we got a Nidoran female, Spiro, and it's really sticking. Zubat, Rapidash, and another Sparkle. It's a Butterfree. So I got a Butterfree MB Drill Sparkle Chrome. How cool is that? Let's just take a look at the back here. That's from one of the episodes. Then they have the guess the Pokemon thing, which is a Meowth. So really cool. So we already got two Sparkle Chromes already. We're in the beginning of the box. Alright, we got Parasect, another base Charizard, Raichu, Bijuru, and a Nidorina Spectra. Oops. So I really hope I don't get a Technochrome of one of the three that I have already, which is Nidorina, Rattata, and Abra. Alright, we got a Beedrill base. Nice Ivysaur. Golbat. Charmander. Oh, there's our third Sparkle Chrome Nidorino. So we've completed the Sparkle Chromes for this box. Unless I get really lucky somehow. Okay, so there's 78 in this, ending with Rapid Ash. And then Series 2 goes from 79 to 151. 
which starts at Slowpoke and ends at Mew. Series 2, really hard to find. Raveler, War Turtle, Hollyoro, Kakuna, and we got a Spectra Metapod. So that's one thing I really love about this set, is just how every Pokemon is important. Like, even Weedle, you'll need to get that Technochrome of. So, it kind of makes every single one important to complete the set. We got Gloom here, Nidorina, Geodude, got a nice V, oh that looks like a Techno, this looks like a Spectra, so we got a Spectra Sandshrew, and look at this, a Techno Venusaur, you can see it right there, it says Techno Chrome, that is amazing, that's an amazing freaking pool I just got. Wow. What do you know? The Venusaur's Jungle pulls a Technochrome Venusaur. Now let's just compare with the Spectra Chrome. See how it has like a circular sort of rainbow effect on the Sandshrew? This has like a plaid kind of effect. This is really cool looking. Like you can, I could spot it out right away. Amazing. I'm so happy with this. I'm going to sleeve this, actually. Doesn't get more better than that. So, a nice Venusaur Techno Chrome there. And we got a Spectra Chrome in that pack as well. So maybe there's more that I've got two of in the same back and just missed for some reason. Oh, you know what? Now it makes sense. So I will get 10 Spectra Chromes in a box because they'll put the Spectras with like the Technos. Now it makes sense. Alright, Ekans. Oddish. Charmeleon. It's the first time I've ever seen this card of him. Firo. And Butterfree. So we didn't get anything in that. Just a bunch of regulars. I think. Yep. So it's kind of hard to tell through pictures and this video like what a regular base looks like compared to Spectra and Techno. Sparkling, obviously, you can tell there's right away. But the other ones are kind of hard to still tell. But when you've seen a lot of cards like I have, it's real easy to just breeze through them. Be able to spot them out real easy. Ivysaur, Golbat, Charmander, Gloom, Nidorina. Nothing in this. Looks like we got something nice back there. Bell Sprout, RK9, Side Up, Tentacruel, and a Pidgey Spectra Chrome. Cool artwork right there with an, on that Pidgey. This is a really fun set to try to complete. Apparently, nobody's ever completed a massive set of this. At least not that I know of. We're seeing one of the people that, one of the top sellers of these on eBay, I, who I stay in contact with, says she knows somebody in New York who was like six cards away from completing the whole set, but I haven't heard any update on that. We got a choke. Something else stuck behind that. Pidgey. And a gloom spectra.
All right, we got another R box. Now these cards are really sticking back here. Machoke, Machoke seems to be sticking everybody. Pidgey, Metapod, that's it. So we only got four cards in that pack for some reason. It would suck to just buy a single pack and get that one. I probably need some goods coming up soon. Alright, we got Meowth, Weedle, Volpix, Clee Fairy, Blastoise, and a nice Spectra Clefairy. One of my favorite Pokemon. Love Clefairy. So I got a nice pile I'm accumulating over here. So we're getting another clue there. Got a Metapod. Another Meowth. Seen a million of those it seems like. Weedle. Vulpix. And just regular Clefairy again. Alright, we got a Golem, Sandslash, Venonet, Nidoking, and a Rattata, just regular. So the regular packs are equivalent of getting like non-hollow trainers basically, or just any non-hollow in the newer sets. All right, we got Sand Slash, Blastoise, Diglett, Pikachu. Looks like a Spectre Charmander there. It's really cool. So it'll be interesting to see how many Spectres I can get from th these two boxes. With that getting duplicates. Alright, we got Ponyta, Bulbasaur, Nidoran Female, Spearow, and Zubat. Sorry if I'm tilting the cards up, it's just because they stick. I'm, tr I'm trying to look in the camera to avoid doing that. Alright, we've still got our second tech now. That would suck if I got Jip and only got one. That would really suck. But it was a Venusaur. Golduck. It kind of sucks as you can see the back here. It looks like we're getting a Spectra. Eradicate. Weeping Bell. Look at that nice Jigglypuff. And a Machoke Spectra. As we end, as we get near the end here. Diglett. Sandshrew. Another Pikachu. Persian. Nitto Queen. And a Spectre of Olpix. All right, so we got three. Wow, there's a lot of packs left. This video has been 18 minutes long. We still got these packs here. I think I'll just try to blow by these.
It just takes so long to open these because they stick. Griff, Champ, Cadabra, Mankey. Oh, there's our second tech now. That's what I was looking for, too. Doug Trio. As you can see, it says Techno Chrome right there. So, not bad. I mean, I don't have it. Any Techno Chrome is really good. So, definitely awesome addition to the collection. So, let's just recap here. Since this video is long, I probably won't open those last packs. Because we got the Technos and the Sparkles. And those are the main cards I was looking for. I'm still going to open all those packs, so. So here's the Sparkles. Got an Arena, A Butterfree. And a Fero. And the Technos. Well, that's not a Techno. Doug Trio and Venusaur. Amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy this. It's something a little different than what you're probably used to seeing. And I will be opening that second box in another video. So thanks for hanging in there with me. I know it was a long video, but stay tuned. It's your Venusaur's Jungle here. And this is the second box opening, Topps Chrome Series 1. I already pulled out all the packs to make this go a little quicker, and I started cutting some of the packs, but I have a phobia that I'm going to like cut one of the cards, so I didn't really get far in that. I'll just open the rest of the packs. So here's just a little short recap of all the good cards we pulled from the first box. We get our three Sparkle Crooms. We got a Fero, a Butterfree, and an Inarino. And our two Techno Crooms, a Dog Trio, and what do you know? A Techno Chrome Venusaur. I pulled three Hollow Venusaurs from the base set packs I did and I pulled this what are the odds? 1 out of 78 chance of getting this well something like that anyway alright so let's just do this oops so we got Persian Nitto Queen Alakazam Victory Bell. Oh, look at that. Sparkle right off the bat. Abra. So that's pretty sweet because now I have Techno Abra and a Sparkle Abra. I think I still need a Spectra. Alright, so you got Pichu there. And a Spectra Psyduck. Spectra Chrome. I was going to try not to name them to save time. Let's see. It just takes forever because these things. Maybe I'll just break this video up into a couple parts if it ends up being so long. So you got Metapod. These are sticking a lot worse than the last cards. Meowth. Weedle, Volpix, Clee Fairy. So, interestingly, I still need a base Nidorino. That's the only base card I didn't get out of the last uh, box I opened. For some reason. Got a Primate, Caterpie, Ponyta, Bulbasaur, RK9, Spectra. Beautiful. Nidoran female. Spiro. Zubat. Rapidash. And a Graveler. These cards are really thick, by the way.
So it's just easier opening them that way than it was cutting them because they stick so quick. War Turtle. Poliwaro. Kakuna. Ekans. And a Bell Sprout Spectra. So I'll do a recap video too, showing all the Spectras and the base sets that I have, have put together too. Because it's really cool seeing all these cards next to each other in a set. Looks like I finally got that Nidorino. Oddish. Charmeleon. Firo. Butterfree. And then there's Nidorino that I need it. So I'm actually happy to get that base card. Oops. So I get a Bell Sprout, RK9, Side Up, Tentacruel, and a Spectra in Arena. So pretty cool. No Technos and one Sparkle so far. So we got Golem, Sand Slash, Venonet, Ninetales, Radicate. So nothing in that pack. Looks like whenever there's something good, it's like push down a little for some reason or push up that's why I didn't want to cut them the packs open Jigglypuff Weeping Bell Growlithe Machamp and a Spectra Butterfree so we got one sparkle out of that side of the box the left side and a couple of spectres. You got a golem here, sand slash, banana, nitter king, and rattata. So just a bunch of normal cards there. Looks like we're getting a spectra at least out of this pack. Gold up, eradicate, jigglypuff, weeping bell. All right, Nitter King, Spectra Cream. Man, these packs are intense. So we got Grav, Champ, Kadabra, Mankey, and wow, look at this. A Venusaur Sparkle Chrome. So now you got it, the Techno and the Sparkle Venusaur out of two boxes. What are the odds? And here it is. What are the odds? Because that's a really good card there, that sparkle. So we got our two sparkles out of three in the box, and one of them's a Venusaur. No Techno yet, though. So we got two Technos and one sparkle. Left. I just have, like, the best luck pulling really good Venusaur cards. I ought to get a first edition base set pack. I bet I'd pull a first edition Venusaur. We got a Spectro Venonet.
Hey friends, the Venusaurus Jungle here, and today I have a very exciting box opening for you. A base set booster box. And I'm going to open this up real quick. I'm just going to put a camcorder down here. Now, a lot of people have been opening Primal Clash this week, but we are keeping it old school on this channel. I got this one. For a nice steal on eBay, the buyer said it was open just a little. The packaging was open a little, but hasn't been tampered with. Looked good in the photos. So I'm just going to pull this out real quick. Wait a minute, what is what the heck is this? <clears throat> Zoom back here a little. What is this? Are you kidding me? Is this a base set 2 box? Now wait a minute. Oh, there we go. There's the Charizard and the starters. Wait. Yeah, it's definitely a base set box. Sweet. There's the Venusaur. Let's show you around real quick. I already got, opened it a little. Charizard. Got the energies. And we got Blastoise. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Got a little concern there. I thought it was base set too. I'm gonna put this down just again. Package really well, just like in the description. Alright, let's take a closer look at it. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Comes with three pack arts. Let me pull everything out. Sorry about this. I should have been a little bit more prepared. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. My first ever base set booster box opening. And it's going to be live. Push this camcorder back just a little. There we go. Let me set my background up. Okay, so I got my background set up. Let's check out the three pack arts. We got Blastoise, Blastoise, and we got a Blastoise. So I hope you guys got the joke in the beginning. Just kidding around. I didn't actually get another booster box, but I am going to be opening these 36 packs instead of selling them because I already made. I made a pretty good money selling six packs, so, you know, why not? I got these at such a good deal. It's pretty much a booster box I'm opening worth anyway. So let's do it. Let's open Let's have some fun. So here's my goals. I want to pull one of the three starters again. I want to pull a Zapdos, Bandor, or Raichu for nostalgia purposes. At least 12 hollows. That's how much you get in an actual booster box. I would love to complete the set. I only need about 30 more cards. And last, let's have some fun. So sorry if anybody actually got offended by the first part. But I'm just having some fun opening these up. Let's do it. The cool thing is, I could actually get more than 12 hollows. But on the negative side, I could get less than 12. I'm going to be doing this video in three parts too, by the way. So we'll open up 12 in this video 12 in the next and then 12 in the last one all right so we got energy retrieval seal the choke star you squirtle potion ghastly and nidoran now grass energy psychic energy oh look at that clefairy awesome i needed that one Sweet. Man, this is going to be fun. I bet I'm going to get like way more than 12 hollows here. Let's sleeve it up. One of my favorite. I absolutely love fairy types. What a great way to start off. Clefairy. Top load you two. It's good for now. It's black and Charizard. It's Push these over so I don't pull out of the wrong pile. Alright, let's go. Pack number two. We started off awesome. Only better start could have been a Venusaur. Or a Charizard. Got 
Ah, come on. Alright, so we got Dugong, Magikarp, Maintenance, Nidoramel, Drowsy, Potion, oh, a Bulbasaur, an Onyx, which I needed, Psychic, Grass, and a Venusaur. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right behind a Grass Energy, and with a Bulbasaur in the pack. Sweet. Sweet. Man, this is so worth opening. I could walk out of this thing with like 20 hollows. Pack fresh. Look at this. Beautiful. All I gotta do now is pull a Blastoise out of a Blastoise pack. Ah, oh, this is awesome. And I'm getting cards I need for my uncommon and commons too. Probably saw that polywag. Oh well. Haunter, Growlithe, War Turtle, Polywag, Bill, Onyx, Charmander, Caterpie, Grass, Lightning, and at last. Probably saw that by accident in the beginning. I know I did. Put that over here. I got last already, so that's kind of unfortunate because I do need some of the trainer rares. Last is the first double I pulled. You know what? I forgot I even had these up here. I'm always afraid I'm going to cut the top of the cards off whenever I do that. Yeah, a bowl was sore. Farfetched, which I need at Seal, Porygon, Bulbasaur, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Weedle, Chop, Lightning, Psychic, and a Devolution Spray. Another double. So we start off great. Got two rare trainers. That's alright, like I was saying. Gonna be needing those anyway. Alright, we got Graf, War Turtle, Staryu, Doduo, Magnemite, Phil, Rattata, Psychic, Lightning, and a Dragonair. Oh, and I must have messed up. Forgot to put another one. So we got a Dragonair, I had that one, and a Haunter. So three duplicates in a row after two awesome hollows. Farfetch, Arcanine, Maintenance, Nidoran Mail, Volpix, Doduo, Abra, Voltorb, Psychic, Fire, and a Dog Trio. So I finally got a rare that I needed. Not too bad. Man, I'm just peeking over at that Venusaur every now and then. It's just Amazing getting that. Alright, we got Farfetch again. Revive, I need it. Polyoro, Coughing, Metapod, Pikachu, Diglett, Rattata, Grass, Lightning. Oh yeah! Yes! That was in one of my goals. We pulled one of the three stars already, and we pulled a Zatos and or Raichu. And the reason why I wrote this down is because, oh man, this beautiful condition. Beautiful. The reason why I wrote this down, why I really want to pull this, is because I'll never forget, it was my birthday, and it seemed like my eighth or ninth, so I guess I did forget part of it. But I picked up two Venusaur packs and a Charizard pack for my birthday. Pulled two straight Zapdos in a row out of the Venusaur packs. So that was, that's like really awesome as a kid too because you had trading material. Which I ended up going right to my best friend's house who lived down the street and I ended up trading a, one of my extra Zapdoses for a Persian from Jungle Set, which a lot of people would probably laugh at that looking back on it. 
I know I am. It's, I got ripped off pretty much, but hey, Persian's an awesome looking card too. We got a Dratini. Pretty sure I needed that. Charmeleon, Defender, which I needed. Sandshrew, Pidgey, Bill, Voltorb, Coughing, Water, Psychic, and another Doug Trio. So it's like we're getting hollow and then doubles that I have. So right now we've got three hollows. So we're doing above average pools because I'm not even finished. Wait. I think I need to get one more. I think I screwed that up actually. So we're a little below average. Pokedex, Seal, Kakuna, Bulbasaur, Onyx, Staryu, Doduo, Magnemite, Psychic Energy, Fire Energy, and another Doug Trio. Wow. Part one. Nothing but Doug Trios, pretty much. Whoops, sorry about that. Alright, we got three packs left in this part. We need one more hollow to reach the projected ratio. Which would be one out of every three packs. Maintenance. Eradicate. Pokedex. Pikachu. Drowsy. Gust of Wind. Abra. Onyx. Psychic Energy. Grass Energy. And a Pokemon Breeder. I needed that. So. Happy about that one. Another interesting thing about this is because I bought these 36 packs loose is the game of averages and ratios. So technically I should still get 12 hollows even though it's not out of a box. Kakuna, plus power, Charmeleon, Coughing, Starmie, Poliwag, Volpix, Sandshrew, Psychic, Lightning, and Electabuzz. I need that anyway. So it's up to this pack to help us get that one out of every three pool ratio. But I got a Venusaur and a Zapdos and a Clefairy, so let's be real. It's been awesome so far. Seal, Kakuna, War Turtle, Squirtle, Nidoran, Caterpie, Switch, Rattata, Grass, Whoops. Grass. Psychic. Sprite Beedrill. Yep. So not bad. Besides the three Doug Trios in this first part. So we got Beedrill. Electabuzz. Pokemon Breeder. Doug Trio. Doug Trio. Doug Trio. Dragonair. The evolution spray lasts, but Zapdos, Venusaur, and Cliff Fairy. So thanks for watching part one. We are below average right now, but plenty of packs left. So stay tuned for part two. I really hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Hey friends, the Venusaur's Jungle here, and we are going to start part two of the base set booster box opening, or should I say 36 pack opening. In part one, we got three hollows, they are in the background, Clefairy, Venusaur, and Zapdos. So three awesome ones, we're a little below average, but I think we'll catch up. I think we'll get the 12 hollows, which was one of my goals. What does this pack have in store for us? Dugong, Magikarp, Maintenance, Coffin, Charmander, Sandshrew, Switch, Starmie, Fire, Lightning, oh, and a Chansey. Wow, we, so we started off part one off with a normal hollow, 
and we start part two off with our normal hollow. So there we go, that's our fourth hollow. Now we're right on target. Beautiful. Beautiful. Maybe when I open these with the scissors I get better luck. Nah, I'm just trying to convince myself. Alright, we got Porygon. Whoops. Pokedex. War Turtle. Voltorb. Volpix. Pidgey. Bulbasaur. Santru. Psychic Energy. Grass Energy. And a Nine Tails. Good, I needed Nine Tails. Man, I saw that fire and my heart pounded just a little. So there we go. Two hollows. Just like the last part. Alright, my pile's getting a little big over here, so I'm gonna keep my rares over here. Alright, can we pull a Blastoise out of a Blastoise pack? Can we do it? What do you think? Can it happen in this part? Can we get three hollows in a row, maybe? Defender, Pokedex, Seal, Diglett, Rattata, Ponyta, Starmie, Staryu, Fighting Energy, Psychic Energy, and a Gyarados. Wow. I got this in PSA 9, though. But I am not complaining about getting another Gyarados. Mint fresh. Look at this. This is awesome. So we have started this part two off with three straight hollows. I'm gonna keep cutting these open with scissors. Sorry, I know you guys are seeing that first card. Alright, we got Revive, Plus Power, Growlithe, Switch, Starmie, Bulbasaur. Been getting a lot of these. It's going to be awesome for my collection. Haven't seen much of Ivysaur, though. Alright, Water Energy. Ooh, and a Hitmonchan. I got one of them. So this is our first double. This one appears to be in way better condition than the first one I pulled, though. It's so our first double hollow, but hey, Hitmonchan is always cool. No Mega Punch this time. Look at that, though. Another hollow to start this off. Alright, let's see. I'm opening this the regular way. Let's see if I'm just superstitious or not. It's starting off the same way with that switch. Poliwhirl, Pokemon Flute, Kadabra, finally, Switch, Starmie, another Bulbasaur, Magnemite, Pidgey, Fighting, Psychic, and another Mewtwo. Cool. I didn't pull that in these 36 packs, but I pulled it in my one video where I opened up just five packs. Fantastic. So, as you can see, the scissors, it doesn't really matter. So, one, two, three, four, five packs open, five hollows. This is what I'm talking about, like with opening these packs instead of a booster box. Poliwhirl, Pokemon Flute. Kadabra, Pidgey, Nidoran Male, Drowsy, Potion, another Bulbasaur, Water, Psychic, and a Pidgeotto. That's pretty cool that I needed it. Definitely not complaining for something I needed to complete my set. And those cards were a little miscut anyway, so it's better that a hollow really wasn't in that. Come on, Blastoise. Come on, can we get a Blastoise?
I feel like I have a better chance of getting a Charizard than a Blastoise just because they're coming out of the pla Blastoise packs. Super Potion, Choke, Arcanine, Doduo, Magnemite, Bill, Rattata, Squirtle, Grass, Psychic, and a Pokemon Trader. Cool, I needed him. I am like almost complete those rare trainers. I know I need Imposter Professor Oak, which is funny because when I open those Japanese base set packs, I got like three of those things. War Turtle, and you better believe I've been checking this little evolution box this whole time. Porygon, Pokemon Center, Energy Removal, Tangela, Staryu, Squirtle, Potion, Psychic, Fire. We've seen that one the least amount. And another Dog Trio. Four dog trios. So you win some and you lose some. So yeah, I've been checking for air cards, like the sideways Diglett, the uh, War Turtle with the Evolution Box, with the other War Turtle in the Evolution Box. Um, obviously we pull a Blastoise, it'll be a new stage Blastoise, Heartcliff Fairy, hey, an Ivysaur, yay. Full heal, Kakuna, energy removal, Abra, Machop, Pidgey, Nidoran, whoops, water. We haven't got a double colorless energy yet. That's what I've been needing. Lightning, an electrode. I do have one of these. So we got all these hollows in a row, and now we're getting all these non hollows in a row. So it's funny how these averages work out. But right now, I'm definitely above average. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hollows. Yep, eight hollows is exactly where I should be. And that's with three packs left. Well, two plus this one that I just opened. Cadaver. Yay, Nidorino. Defender. Bill. Voltorb. Coughing. Ponyta. Machop. Fighting Energy. Fire energy. And the reason why I got excited about Nidorino is because I needed that. And a computer search. Needed that one too. So now we're getting these rares. So I believe it was five hollows in a row, five non hollows in a row. So it'd been awesome to buy those five packs I opened in the beginning. It would have sucked to buy the last five that I opened. Oh, there's another Nidorino. Defender. Pokemon Center. Potion. Doduo. Weedle. Charmander. Tangela. Psychic. Whoops. Water. And a Super Energy Removal. Needed that one too. So now, the non hollows have taken over, but can we finish with a bang? Let's do it. Come on. Come on, Blastoise. Porygon, Pokedex, War Turtle, Bill, Onyx, Charmander, Caterpie, Machop, Grass Energy, Lightning Energy, and another Venusaur. Wow. Sweet. I cannot complain about this. A little miscut. That'll just stay in my binder, probably. Fantastic. What a great way to end. So we got two Venusaurs. Yay. So I hope you enjoyed this part two. We got six hollows out of this part. Gyarados, Venusaur, Mewtwo, Hitmonchan, Ninetales, Chansey. So stay tuned for the last part, part three. Can we get a Blastoise or another Charizard? Or maybe another Venusaur? Stay tuned. Hey friends, Venusaur Jungle here. And this is it, the last part, part three of our 36 pack of...
booster box opening. Let's start it off. We've got nine hollows so far out of 24 packs. So we're one above the limit. Come on, can we get that Blastoise out of a Blastoise pack? So the last part was awesome. Well, it started off awesome, and it was some non hollow rares. We got Pikachu, Poliwag, Energy Removal, Abra, Lightning Energy, Grass Energy, and another Dog Trio. Come on. Ah, all these Dog Trios. I think I have all the Pokemon non hollow rares now, though. So we finished the last video with a bang with a Venusaur. And we started this one off with our my fifth Doug Trio, I think. Get Abra. Magmar. Yay! Finally! I needed that so bad. Ponyta. Magnemite. Squirtle. Nidoran Male. Caterpie. Grass Energy. Psychic Energy. And another last. Ah, those doubles are killers. All those lasses, double trios. So I still would love to get a Raichu or another one of the starters, but who wouldn't? All right, so we got a Farfetch, RK9 Maintenance, Coughing, Metapod, Pikachu, Diglett, Rattata, Grass Energy, whoops, Lightning Energy, and a Beedrill. Whoops. I think they were all doubles. Alright, so no hollers yet in this part. I just cut it. Maybe it'll bring me that luck from the first part, or second part, I should say. All right, we got a seal, Kakuna, War Turtle, Tangela, Starmie, Ghastly, Caterpie, Pikachu, an Upside Down Fire Energy, Water Energy, and an Item Finder. It's weird how these cards come upside down once in a while. So we are batting a zero on this part. All right, we got Cadaver, Farfetched, Revive, Bulbasaur, Magnemite, Pidgey, Poliwag, Bill, Grass Energy, Lightning Energy, and a Polyrath. As you can see, I pulled one before. So we got a duplicate. We'll sleeve it up anyway. So not bad. Still cool, hollow. That makes 10 total. All we need is two more and we get the booster box. 12 hollows that you'll see. I mean, sometimes people get lucky or maybe unlucky. So we got Poliwhirl, Pokemon Flute, Kadabra, Drowsy, Gust of Wind, Abra, Onyx, Ponyta, Grass Energy, which is completely damaged, lightning energy, and another Hitmonchan. Somehow I knew that was going to happen. I knew we'd get another one of these. So it's still a pretty cool hollow. The easiest one to get though. So that's 11 hollows. So I'm thinking we're probably going to get one more. But when and who, or if, Jinx, Full Heal, Kadabra, Tangela, Staryu, Squirtle, Potion, Ghastly, Lightning Energy, Water Energy, and another freaking Dug Trio. I'm sick of those things. Sick of those Dug Trios. I think that's six or seven. I stopped counting. 
All right, we got a Pokemon Center, War Turtle, Haunter, Rattata, Pikachu, Potion, Doduo, Weedle, Lightning Energy, Fighting Energy, and another Venusaur. Wow. My third Venusaur. So I never pulled these in English packs until this video. Hey, that's why they call me the Venusaur's Jungle. Ain't gonna see no Blastoise Charizard on this channel. But you're gonna see three Venusaurs get pulled. And he is number 12. So we got our 12. One, two, and we got four packs left. So we should at least get one more. When you really think about it. Well, I guess technically we're done. But this isn't a real booster box, so we don't follow those rules. Nidorino, Defender, Pokemon Center, Sandshrew, Coughing, Metapod, Pikachu, Diglett, Fire, Psychic, and a Super Energy Removal. So I still need a Nido King. I would love to pull a Raichu, but technically. I already have a Raichu, so I won't be completely upset if I didn't get one. Alakazam I need. Blastoise. Well, actually I have a new stage Blastoise, so technically I have one. Arcanine, Professor Oak, Poliwhirl, Pidgey, Bulbasaur, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Weedle, Water, Psychic, and another Chansey. So it's still a beautiful hollow, one of my favorite. And that puts us over 11 to 12. We got 13 hollows, but we got a couple duplicates. All right, two packs left, come on. Doesn't look like we're gonna be getting a Blastoise, but, or another Charizard, but you never know. Double Colorless, Machoke, Pokedex, Abra, Machop, Pidgey, Nidoran Mail, Drowsy, Lightning Energy, Fighting Energy, and a Super Energy Removal that we just pulled. Well, it comes down to this, folks. The very last pack. It's all over. Man, it would be sweet if we end it with a nice hollow here. Probably not. But we got a full heal, double colorless, Machoke, Squirtle, Drowsy, Abra, Ghastly, Onyx, Fire Energy, Lightning Energy, and a Pokemon Breeder. So we end on a Pokemon Breeder. It started with a Hollow, but it ends with a non Hollow Rare. But we did get some nice ones overall, especially the Venusaurs. So let's just go through all the Hollows I got in each three parts. So we got a Chansey here, Hitmonchan, a Polyrath. Put this under here. We got a Chansey, a Ninetales, Clee Fairy, Gyarados, another Hitmonchan, a Mewtwo, three Venusaurs, and a Zapdos. So overall, not bad at all. We did get a couple double hollows, Chansey, Hitmonchan, and a Polyrath I already had. No Blastoise or Charizard, but I did pull a Charizard before. Gyarados I had already too. But hey, you can't complain when you get three mint Venusaurs. 
So overall, I really hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hey friends, the Venusaur's Jungle here, and I have a very special video today. I'm going to be opening five base set booster packs. First, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to me within the past day. I think I've had 30 new subscribers since the Charizard Authority did that shout out video for me, which I appreciate very much. And if you don't know, my goal is to get 500 subscribers, that way I'll just be able to change my YouTube URL. And I've decided if I do get 500, I'll give it. I'm gonna do a giveaway for all my subscribers. And my idea is to give away a base set, a regular base set pack like this in English, and an end in Japanese, and a regular jungle in English, and a jungle pack in Japanese. So that would be my giveaway prize once I reach 500 subscribers. It would just be like a random giveaway. So if you're interested in that, subscribe and check out my videos. If not, well, maybe you'll you'll enjoy this, this five pack opening I'm gonna do right now. So we're gonna just get right into this with Venusaur. I was thinking about saving the three. I do have three pack arts: Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. I was gonna save three, but I got these so cheap. I'm just gonna open them. I paid sixty nine dollars for these five cards. Wow. Man, this is awesome. I'm hoping that we at least get one hollow. Obviously, Charizard will be cool. Venusaur will be my favorite. And just any hollow I'd be happy with. So let's do it. Staryu, Metapod, Nidoran, Switch, Diglett, Lightning Energy, Grass Energy. Ooh, look at that. Hollow Magneton. In our first pack, we got a hollow. So that's awesome. Pack fresh. A little bit of edge wear, though, actually. Let me check this out. Yep. There's edge wear on the side. That's unfortunate, but I'm going to keep it anyway because I opened it. We're going to finish off here with Jinx, an upside down Porygon, and a Pokey Flute. So, a great way to start off because I know they're not weighted. I didn't think they were anyway. Let's go with Blastoise. This time. Alright, now I'm hoping for a, a Bulbasaur and an Ivysaur card because I really want to beef up my exclusive Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur collection. Ponyta, Gust of Wind, Tangela, Vulpix, Coughing, Psychic Energy, Water Energy. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Wow! Oh, it's been so long since I pulled this Charizard. Wow, I'm so glad I opened this. Wow. And I just sent off the PSA. Man, that's beautiful. I still like the Japanese one I got better, though. But how could you hate a Charizard? Wow. Man. And I got these for five packs for $69. I can't see any scratches on the front. So I'm going to put that over here with my magneton. Man, I'm two for two. I'm batting 1,000 right now. We got a Pokemon Center, a War Turtle, and a Haunter. Now I'm wondering if I even want to open these three. So, you know what? I got the Charizard. I'm... How about this? I'm going to think about it. And if I decide I want to open these, which I probably will, I'll do a part two. Just so I can break it up. Just because we got a Charizard here. And that is what it's all about, really. But then again, I do kind of want to get a mint set. So, you know what? Let's just keep going. 
<clears throat> Let's test my luck. Let's see if I can get a Venusaur. Wow, that Charizard. That was awesome. That's what it's all about. Alright, so we got an Abra, Boltorb, Weedle, Sandshrew, Coughing, Psychic Energy, Grass Energy, and look at this. Look at this. Another holographic Polyrath. This is unbelievable. I'm wondering if this guy weighed on holographics and sent them off at this point now. But I bought from him before, and I got two non hollows but that was a year ago. Probably rest a little warp. And to finish off, we got Charmeleon, Magmar, Machoke. Whew. I bet I bet that Charizard will not have a holographic. I bet. Every time I would open those up as a kid, never. Because <clears throat> you know everybody wanted... You know what? Let's open this one up now. Save Venusaur for last. Because you... You know, maybe I'm superstitious, but I feel like everybody would go for the Charizard pack art because they liked it the most. And you would get so disappointed by not having a hollow in it. Alright, so we got a Tangela, Vulpix, Coughing, Charmander, Sandshrew, Grass Energy, Lightning Energy, and a Mewtwo Hollow. My gosh. Another one. And I was wrong. The Charizard pack had a hollow. Look at these pack fresh hollows. Wow. Four. Finish off with Machoke, RK9, and Professor Oak. Whew. Four for four. And is Venusaur going to be the one to break it up? I mean, I, I'm not even... Disappointing. It doesn't matter what's in here. I just, at this point, the only thing I'm looking for is a Bulbasaur and an Ivysaur. The two cards I wanted going into this. Haven't got those, but I got a Charizard and three other Hollows. We got a Drowsy here, Energy Removal, Tangela, Staryu, Squirtle, Lightning Energy, Water Energy, and there is our first non holo rare, which is a Pokemon Trader. Poliwhirl, Jinx, and Full Heal. No Ivysaurs, Bulbasaurs, or Venusaurs. But, nevertheless, Poliwrath. Magneton. Mewtwo. And the unbelievable Charizard. Love that pool. And I'm really glad I opened all these. I'm lucky I got them and the, for the price I did. And I'm very happy with the pools, of course. Looks like there's a bunch of whitening up top, though. But, hey, you know, you pull Charizard, you're... It's awesome no matter what. So I really pre appreciate everyone watching. Like I said, I'm trying to get 500 subscribers so I can be able to change my YouTube URL. If that interests you, please subscribe. And like I said, if I get the 500, I'll do a giveaway where I give those four uh, booster packs out. So take care, stay tuned, enjoy. Hey friends, the Venusaurus Jungle here, and I want to thank everybody for watching my 36 base set booster pack opening, which I like to call my base set booster box, quote unquote. So this is going to be the recap video, but first I have an Encore pack opening for you. I've saved, I have a couple packs saved sealed, but I figure, what the heck, let's just open one more pack as an Encore. Who knows, maybe I'll get something nice. 
Or maybe I'll just get another Doug Trio. Hopefully not. But we're going to find out. Alright, so we got a Charmeleon. Super Potion. Full Heal. Energy Removal. Tangela. Staryu. Squirtle. Potion. Psychic Energy. Fire Energy. And it is a Computer Search. So nothing spe spectacular there, unfortunately. But some nice cards nonetheless. So let's just go over the recap now that that's out of the way. So I opened 36 packs, which I consider my booster box opening. But before that, in the past three weeks, I've opened a total of 47 packs or 48 if you count this one I just opened. So in 47 packs, I open 18 hollows. We got a Chansey. Maybe I can zoom in here. Another Chansey. And there's the Charizard. Nice mint, fresh Charizard. A Clefairy. Gyarados. A Hitmonchan, a second Hitmonchan, and a third Hitmonchan. We got a Magneton, a Mewtwo, a second Mewtwo. It's hard to complain about getting two of those. A Ninetales, a Poliwrath. Second Polyrath. A Venusaur. Another Venusaur. And a third awesome mint Venusaur. How fitting that for this channel I pulled three of these out of those 36 packs. And last but not least. A very awesome Zapdos, which I was really happy to pull. It was one of my goals to pull this Zapdos. So I almost got all the hollows I needed, but I was just short a couple. I think five. Machamp, which I couldn't get anyway. So I'll go over the binder too. Luckily, though, I had Blastoise already. The Snow Stage Blastoise. So technically, I have it complete for my set. I'll just put my bind, the uh, other binder here I got. And go over the cards from the set. So these are, I almost completed the whole set from pulling out of those packs. All these nice mint rares, uncommons, and commons. Didn't get a Clefairy Dial. I was missing three rare trainers. Luckily, I have two of them already. And that's that. So, here's two that I had already. Two rare trainers. I also had Alakazam and a Raichu. And a mint nine Gyarados. So that concludes my base set pack openings. I really hope you enjoy that. And thanks a lot for all the comments and likes I got on those videos. Now for the future, what I'm going to be doing is saving up money for a sealed, uh, sealed box. I'm not going to give away any hints as to what set it's from but I am going to be keeping that sealed once I buy it but I got to save up for it 
but I'll at least show it off because it's one of my favorites, it's my dream sealed box. I've always wanted it. And I found somebody who said they'll hold it for me, so I'm going to be saving up for that. So I might not be opening as much stuff in the near future, in the next few months. But maybe I'll try to get some Topps pack openings or some cool stuff that you don't see very often just to open it up. You know, give everybody a break from some Primal Clash. You can check that out on everybody else is opening that up and you maybe you can check my stuff out for some stuff you don't see as much. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot everybody for viewing my stuff and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much. Bye. Alright, here we go. Now, I know the holographic's right in front, or the rare, whatever. I can only hope I get lucky enough to get a holographic. Alright. Oops. Oh, well. I think somebody probably saw that on the camera. So, oh, wow. What a great way to start off. And uh, the best part is, I know they're not weighed. So I got a Blastoise on my first pack opening, which, gotta love that Blastoise. If you may or may not know, Venusaur is my favorite starter, but to be honest, I love all of them. So I'm going to put that in the sleeve. Alright, so I got Pidgey already. Poliwag, I need that one. Arcanine, I don't have that one. Rattata, I have. Drazzy, I don't have. Dratini, don't have, have, don't have Squirtle or Jinx, so, got a lot of cards there that I don't have, perfect, put them there, put Blastoise in the sleeve, so what a fantastic way to start off, only a better start could have been a Charizard, we see if I'm lucky enough to even get one. Let's see if I can open this the right way. Yeah, well. Let's also see if I can do this without showing the top card. Pretty soon I'm just going to go through them and... The regular way instead of just flipping the card over. So we just got Drowsy. We got Machop. Don't have this trainer. Full heal, I'm pretty sure. I have a Weedle. Have it. Yes. Don't have a potion. And Magmar, I need it. And here's the rare. That is Pokey Breeder. So I'm not upset because, like I said, I'm going after this set. Put this in a regular sleeve. So I'm gonna need rares anyway. Let's see what we can get this time. Squirtle, Pikachu, Jinx, Rita. Oh, don't have a Diglett. And that's a great card I'm going to need to. So here comes the rare. And it is a Dragonair. Probably everybody's favorite non holo rare, as far as a Pokemon goes. It's either this or Electroid, it seems to be like. This is people's favorites, non hollow. Either that or the ones they wish could have been in a hollow. So we are one for three right now as far as getting hollows and packs. Probably just gonna do this, it seems a lot easier. I need that one. Uh, 
see you on in Ninoran mail. And let me just check to see if I got. I can have switch already. And the rare. Imposter Professor Oak. Probably just take a few of these out. Metapod, I need that one. Got a Ghastly here. I think the Ghastly I have had a scratch one, so I'm going to keep that in there. These two trainers I need. Tangle up. Need Magikarp. And. Do I can't remember if I had that one or not. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think I had Do Gong. Alright, now for the rare Doug Trio. So we started off great, now we got a couple of rares, but it's no worries. Need that. Caterpie and Pick Center. For the rare, another Doug Trio. So we got our first double here. I'm just going to put that in this double pile I got. These are all the doubles I have so far. I think a lot of these are energies in the back. Nope. Put that in a different pile. So we got our first double. And it wasn't a holographic. I'm not sure if I'll trade any of these. Maybe I'll just sell the doubles in a lot with the binder I'm going to sell for donation. Weedle, Chop, Wheel. Saying true, I don't have. And all the rest are doubles. For the rare. Ooh, a Mewtwo. Sweet. So we got another holographic here. Gotta love the Japanese design holographic on this. It's probably just about as, as cool or cooler than the first edition Mewtwo holographic. Get a deck protector sleeve here. For a well deserved, nice holographic Mewtwo. Every time I open these old cards up, it just gives me this huge, like, burst of nostalgia just to play the older Pokemon games. So I think I might have to play Crystal. Play Crystal again, even though I sold them earlier, about a month ago. But, that's the great thing about Pokemon. It never dies. At least hopefully not. So, having my first foul here, opening a putt pack. Finally. Alright. Put that there. So, we got Medpa, Drowsy. Oh, Bulbasaur. I know, definitely didn't see that one yet. I haven't seen Ivysaur either. This one I need. Don't think I have Onyx. So we got some more doubles there. And the rare is Gyarados. Sweet. So we got a lot of water uh, holographics. We got almost all of them, I think, off the top of my head. Let's see, is there any other ones? We got Blastoise, Polyrath, and Gyarados.
So that's three Hollers pulled from the packs. Mewtwo, Blastoise, and Gyarados. So I need five more holographics, and I reached my goal of getting eight. I have all those cards, so. Time for the rare. And there's Electrode. The one most people wish could have been a holographic card. Yeah, I'm not very good at cutting these packs. Probably because I'm so nervous I'm going to cut the tops of the cards off, so... Right, finally got that. Gust of Wind. doubles. And we got a Beedrill. I think all I need is Electabuzz. I think there might be one more. Pidgeotto. To have all the non holly rare Pokemon. Cocoon, I don't think I had that. Kadabra, I don't know. No, I don't have that one. Let me check to see if I have Poliwag. Probably do. Yep. It's from the first pack I opened. Alright, so here's the rare. Oh, we got a Hitmonchan. One of my favorite Japanese holographics. Just love the way that green comes out in the background. So that's four holographics pulled. That's half of my goal. Pikachu, Professor Oak, don't remember seeing him, Bill, a lot of doubles, as expected, oh yeah, there we go, Venusaur, my favorite card ever, well besides the new rarity one in Japanese, it's just so symmetrical, just the way the Venusaur fits inside the box, everything's so green, which is pretty much my favorite color. Grass type's my favorite. Gotta love Venusaur. Now all we need is Charizard and we got the three starters. I'm sure that Charizard's gonna be a tough one to pull. Alright, let me just count how many packs I got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's the 12th one there. We are halfway through. So I'm going to go ahead and open this to start off. The second half, I guess. The funny thing is, I always thought Charizard's wing here was a volcano. And this was like the fire shooting out of the volcano here. This pack art is amazing. I probably should have stopped and showed that first. But I was too excited to open. Look at that Rattata. That is 
just a rock. I thought it was a Rhyhorn, Clefairy. It's so simple, this artwork, but it's just so, like, awesome. Sometimes that's the best. Alright, I guess pretty soon I'll just open them up and see what hollows, or what rares I get. Because I'm pretty much getting doubles, except that Super Potion. Oh, and Farfetch'd. So maybe I spoke too soon. And the rare, uh, another double. So I'll just put that there. The Pokey Breeder. So I'm glad to find out that these packs weren't weed. up I think. Whatever it is, we don't have it. But we need it. Or I need it. Yeah, now it's getting to the point where I'm getting a whole bunch of doubles. And... The first double holographic, a polygraph. So I'll put that in a sleeve. I'll put that in my double rare pile. Pulled, it's the first one he pulled out of the packs, but I pulled this yesterday in a theme deck. That was my hollow there. So I still can't complain because I got a hollow. And I did get the six hollows that realistically I thought I was going to get. See if I can get that eight that I wanted to get. Don't have polywirl actually. Oh wait, yes I did, never mind. Don't have war turtle. That I know. And the rare? Another Venusaur. Imagine that. Have that one. And the rare. Another polyrath. Wow. If I open up another Venusaur, it's going to be kind of crazy. So it's been polyrath, Venusaur, polyrath. This one I might put in a giveaway, actually. Because I got two of them. Three of them. To be exact. Have all them. The rare. Less. Now I can go kind of quicker at this point of opening. an Electabuzz. So we need Pidgeotto and we'll have all the non holo rares. As far as Pokemon goes. There's still a couple of the trainers I need to. Fairy Doll is one of them. I know that. Choke. And the rare, Imposter Professor Oak. Got that one already. So 
So there's four packs left already. Oh, a Chansey. Sweet. Got a new one. There's the Chansey coin that I got from the theme deck. So three packs remain. And these look like they're all doubles pretty much. A Magneton. Cool. So I'm getting some new hollows at the end here. This is the only first edition base set card I holographic that I have actually. It's that magneton. Whoops, open that the right way. And we got a machine. Sweet. Let's just see if any of these. So it doesn't come in the theme decks like the American, so the US theme decks. So I actually had to get that holographic out of a pack. Well, it all comes down to this. The very last pack I have of the 24. The beautiful pack art. I'm gonna be buying more of these though. Let's see if I can do this the right way. Holly Dad, it's going to be a Charizard, let alone a holographic, but let's so find out. Yeah, I can't open this. I'm too anxious anyway to see what this is going to be. Alright, since my last pack, I'll go through just for some suspense. Bill, Coughing, Arcanine, Onyx, Squirtle, Plus Power, Gust of Wind, Bulbasaur, Charmeleon, all doubles, and here's the rare. Come on, be a hollow, holographic. Ah, oh, and another Imposter Professor Oak. Oh well, it's the third one of those I got. Hey friends, the Minasaur's Jungle here, and here's the package. 49 base set English booster packs, all Blastoise pack arts. The shipping last night says it was expected Wednesday, and I was surprised it came. I mean, I was pretty sure they were shipping at priority. So here we go. I'm going to try to get me opening this on video. best as I can without hopefully ripping any packs because that would suck. Now what would be really awesome in this is if there is somehow shadowless cards or shadowless packs I should say that kind of snuck in because sometimes you know it is hard to tell the difference between them if you don't really know what they're selling. So at least it's packaged really well. Alright, look at this. Here we go. I'm going to be opening some of these just to make sure they're not weighed. I can't imagine why somebody would have 49 weighed packs though. Man, this just feels great just pulling these out. Look at all this. Look at this. Blastoise. You would think he was my favorite. How sick would that have been if they would have all been Venusaurs? 
All right, so I'm, I'm count them. I'm gonna open a few. <clears throat> Guess I should get a third. See, there's any shadowless. Doesn't look like it though. All these are unlimited. Yes, looks like it's gonna be that way. Maybe I'll get lucky and find the uh, 1999 2000 date ones. So I got 49 of these bad boys. Doesn't that look awesome? If you've been watching videos this week, see a bunch of Primal Clash. Not here. Let's get right into this. Alright, I got Tangela, Starmie. Ghastly, Caterpie, Pikachu, Psychic Energy, Fire Energy, which I need it, and a non hollow Dragonair. So we're 0 from 1. Don't get too excited. These are definitely not weighed. As you can see back here, my one video opened five packs from these people. Pull that Charizard. Come on, Blastoise. Pidgey, Bill, Boltorb, Coughing, Ponyta, Lightning, Water, the Evolution Spray. There's the Uncommons. Over two. This should be it. Let me do that little thing you guys like. I've opened enough of these to know. Alright, we got Magikarp, Energy Retrieval, Charmeleon, which is awesome, Rattata, Pikachu again, Potion, Doduo, Weedle, Grass Energy, Lightning Energy, and there we go, Hitmonchan. So sorry about that, my freaking camcorder fell right as that happened. But I did get a hit on Chan, as you can see before stupid camcorder fell down. So we got it in three packs, as expected. Let's just open one more. Because that would mean I'll have 45 packs after opening these four. Radicate. Charmeleon, Super Potion, Volpix, Pidgey, finally got Bulbasaur, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Lightning, Grass, Item Finder. So we got one hollow out of four, which means they are definitely not weighed. So if you're interested in buying any of these, I'll probably be selling them as lots of five first. Let me pull them all out. Yeah, probably like lots of threes and fives or maybe individually for like $22 a pack or something. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. It's your Venusaurus Jungle here, and in this video I'm going to show you my most recent purchase. I purchased 36 base set booster packs. I paid uh, $540 for them from a person I know on PayPal. Actually, if you remember my last video where I showed 45 base set packs, I bought them from the same guy. So you can see here, 40, or I'm sorry, 36 packs. This is what I sent to him. 540. That's how much I paid. And you can see the packs here. I got 18 Venusaur. Base set unlimited. And 18 Blastoise. Base set unlimited booster packs. So I got these at a really good deal from the same people I bought last time. So I know they're not weighed. Uh, three of the packs came with these barcodes uh, attached to them so that kind of sucks but it's, it was only on three of them so it's not bad overall 
Uh, what I'm going to do with these packs, I'm not really sure yet. Just like my Neo Genesis booster box, but I think I'm going to open that one. But keep these sealed, since I've already opened a lot of these. But you never know. But I'm going to take some time to think about it. It's really cool just having these, especially for the great price that I got them at. I could easily just resell these at like $800 and make 200 but there's really no point in that. I just... The deal that I got these for is worth just keeping them sealed. So I figured I would just make this video just to show you guys the purchases that I made. Uh, I don't really have much to my collection anymore. I just have these packs. I had bought that Neo Genesis booster box and I have that PSA 10 Gem Mint uh, Venus Dark Venusaur with Japanese promo which I'm trying to sell because when I bought it it had a PSA population report of 2. It has a PSA pot report of 5 now. It's not really as appealing anymore. And in the meantime, I've been shiny hunting in the, the video games, uh, the Gen 2 games. I'm trying to get a shiny Toto doll, so stay tuned for that video if I ever do get one. I'm at like 3,000 soft resets right now. But uh, stay tuned for some opening videos. Uh, I might do some live streaming, open up some, maybe do my booster box opening live, live streamed. I haven't decided yet. But figured it's always cool to see packs like this. So stay tuned for more. It's your Venusaurus Jungle here, and I have two tops uncut sheets. So I'm going to zoom in here. This uncut sheet is from Series 1 of the, the uh, Tops TV Animation Series 1 set. So I just try to go through there. And all of these are hollows from the set. The silver hollows. They actually have two different hollows from the first set a silver version and a rainbow foil version. So these are all the silver hollows from series one. So it's the complete set, which is really awesome. There's Blastoise. So I'll flip it over and show you the backs too. Now something I wanted to point out about these top sets is we look at Sandshrew here. You can see this tops is in blue. Uh, they actually made five different print runs of the same series one. Uh, the way you can tell is by the colors. Blue, black, green, and pink. And then the UK ones, they have like a, a circular tops logo there instead of an oval shape like that. I can go more into detail on that in another video. I just want to show this uncut sheets here. But I want to ma I want to mention that too. And here is a series two. All hollows. So uncut sheets are really cool. Look at that Gangar. And I love these top sets so as you can imagine, this is really awesome. One day I'll probably try to frame these. Right now they're just kind of laying around. They are kind of damaged, but like you can see that up there, but it really doesn't matter because it's so cool looking. I like the Series 1 better. But for Topps Chrome, Series 2 is a little bit more rare. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And stay tuned for more. Thanks. Bye.
Hey friends, the Venusaur's Jungle here, and it's finally here, my PSA return video. Um, it's actually, I had to cut off the first part, so I pretty much get me opening the box. Uh, it took me like two and a half minutes to open it, and I just didn't want to have me opening that PSA box for two and a half minutes in the video. So, what I originally said is, I didn't look at the results on the page. I want to keep everything a surprise. Although, in that first video I made, I did look at this. This will be the first card I show you, which is a Mint 9 Gyarados, which is exactly what I predicted. So, if you didn't see my prediction video, I'll put that in the link in the description. Let's see how I do. Uh, I think I can remember all my predictions off the top of my head. This card you see in the background is the No Stage Blastoise. I want to say that for last. I can I know that it's a no stage blast toys because I only sent in four English cards and it had a little edgeware on the bottom. So I'm really hoping that one gets an eight, but I guess a seven on it. Alright, I don't know what's next, but Oh, look at that. A gem mint ten. Ante from Neo Revelations. I guess the nine got a gem mint ten. Awesome. So that's our first gem mint ten. And then I know this is going to be a first edition Togetic from Neo Genesis, and that got a Gem Mint 10 as well. So that's really awesome considering I got both of these cards from a comic shop. Perfect. Alright, now we're on to some Japanese cards here. Oh, a Gem Mint 10 Jungle Victory Bell. Wow, that's awesome. Really awesome. I was thinking that card would get like a 9 or maybe an 8 and it got a gem 10. Surprise all of us. And look at this. Gem Mint 10 Wigglytuff. Japanese Jungle. This is the first one ever. According to the population report anyway. And the first ever Gem Mint 10 Jungle Pidgeot. Wow, that's really awesome. So according to the pot report, those two jungle cards have never been graded. They don't get graded that much, really. Because you can get a hollow on every jungle pack, so. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Gem Mint 10 Venusaur. That's what I wanted the most. I guess the 9 on that, but it got a Gem 10. Sweet. Sorry, Bulbasaur, you're going to have to get, go down here on this video. And we got a Gem 10 Polyrath. So, so far, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm 7 for 8 on 10s. The first card was a Mint 9 Gyarados from base set. Uh, here's another mint nine, a Mewtwo. It's funny, I guess this one would get a ten, and it got a, a nine. And all the other ones I showed, I guess, would get a nine, and they got tens. Still happy with that. It's a mint nine, Gyarados, or Mewtwo, sorry. I think Gyarados might be next. Nope, it'll be a gem mint ten, Japanese base set, Magneton. And next, we got a Gem Mint 10 Japanese base set Machamp. So we're getting a lot of nice 10s here. And a Gem Mint 10 Japanese base set Gyarados. Which is really awesome the way the next two looks like they're going to be in order. If you haven't figured that out already, which means the last two I sent were Japanese base set Blastoise and Charizards. Let me move this anti, it keeps falling. So that means Charizard will be on top. Let's save him for last. Here's Blastoise, at least it should be. Oh, a Gem Mint 10 Blastoise. Now I guess this Charizard will get a 9. I didn't pull this from my pack. I pack myself. Let's see what it gets. A Gem Mint 10 Charizard. Wow. 
Wow, I can't believe this got a gem mint 10. The centering must not matter that much for these Japanese cards. This is giving me really high hopes for this new stage Blastoise. I don't even know if I should get my hopes up this much. Well, here it is. It's the one I've been waiting for the most, even more than that Japanese Charizard. And the Venusaur was a total shock, so that's probably going to be my number one winner for this. Whew. Here it is. I guess that we get a 7 in my prediction video. Let's see. I'm hoping at least an 8. A 9 would be great. There's no way it's getting a 10. And it got a near mint to mint 8, which is not bad at all. So that's really, really awesome. And they didn't put the no stage thing up there for some reason. But that's alright. So my only 8 was the no stage Blastoise, which is fine by me. I'm really happy about these Japanese base sets. The only one that didn't get a 10 was the Mewtwo for some reason. So out of 15 cards I sent, oops, I only got three that didn't get 10s. A Mint 9 base set Gyarados, Mint 9 Japanese base set Mewtwo, and this near mint to mint 8 no stage Blastoise. Let's see if it'll zoom in on that. So thank you very much for watching my first PSA return video. The tens. Wow, amazing. If you're interested in any, probably not gonna be selling the Gem Mint 10 base sets. But like these, the English cards, they're probably up for sale. So if you're interested in that or trade. Just hit me up with an offer. Thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks. It's your Venusaur's Jungle here, and finally, the video I've been waiting to make, and hopefully some of you have been excited for. This is going to be my sealed box that I've been hinting about the past couple of videos. I'm going to open it up for the first time here, straight out of Japan, as you can see here. Alright, so let's get into this. Some of you may know what this is. For others, well... I know you're going to enjoy this. I do plan on keeping this sealed though for two reasons. Number one, the artwork is just so beautiful on it. I don't know how I can imagine myself opening one of these. And plus I've opened so many of these packs up before. I really have no desire. Really no desire to ever open this up. So it's right very well. Some cool Japanese newspaper here. You can read. Nah, I'll never be able to read that. Wow. Wow. There it is. It's a Japanese base set booster box. Sealed and in mint condition. Look at this. A little bit of a indent there, but that's nothing serious. Look at that artwork. Charizard's got the one horn. It's just a real beautiful box, and it's still sealed there. Some of them you see have that indent it. I think people were checking to see what the packs look like. I just love the random Pokemon they, they throw in this, like Farfetch and Tangela. You can see hiding in there in the grass. Rattata. 
So this is really awesome. I did not buy this on eBay actually. I found a nice seller straight from Japan. The one that sold on eBay actually looks like that did pop out a little. The one that sold on eBay sold for five seventy, I think. It had a little dent in it. This one I paid six twenty four. No no damage at all. It's in really nice condition. And the seller was awesome. He contacted me back in February and held this for me until I had the money ready. And finally, I got it. So I hope you enjoy viewing this box, even though I'm not going to be opening it. It is my first sealed box. My first sealed Japanese box, too. I can stand it up here. Oh, yeah, I got to show you this case. Let me see if I can fit this in somehow. I got this little display case. This is where the box will be going. It's got to put like a cushion over that indent. Yeah, because otherwise that wouldn't be really well. Who knows, maybe I'll make a little display in the background or something. But otherwise, it'll look like that. It's pretty cool. Believe it or not, I actually bought two sealed booster boxes yesterday as well. So I'm going to have two more boxes on the way. And I'll keep that a surprise too. I think I overpaid for the next two I'm getting. But there's it's two boxes that I really like. And I know most people probably won't enjoy it, but I think it's really cool. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for viewing. Japanese base set, awesome. Look at that Venusaur. Take care. Hey friends, the Venusaur's Jungle here with another video for you. This is a bought cards by mail. Well, actually, it's not really cards. It's more like an item really awesome item but before I started having an announcement to make just got an email saying PSA shipped my first ever PSA submission back so I should be expecting that Thursday at the earliest maybe Saturday at the latest it is coming coast to coast but it is priority mail so expect a video Friday or Saturday keep a lookout for that hopefully we'll have some Gem Mint 10 joining this Chansey and Hitmonchan back here if you didn't see what cards I submitted, check out my submission video. I'll put a link in the description of that. Now let's get on with this video. I bought a really awesome item. I'll show you quick. Let me just read the note from another PokeTuber. Let me just, I covered part of it. It says, Hello Rich, thank you so much for purchasing the... And I'm keeping that blank because I want to see if anybody can guess what it is before I show it. Whoops. Just, well, here it is. It's Bulbasaur. I hope it adds to your ever-growing collection. If you want me to keep an eye out for more Bulbasaur and Venusaur stuff, let me know. It says your PokePal Milk. So he's a PokeTuber, I love milk, you probably heard of him. I was watching one of his pack opening videos and I saw this gem in the background. This awesome Bulbasaur. You're probably saying, what's so special about it? Well, let me see if anybody, I'm 23, let me see if anybody my age knows what this might be. I'll never forget. I was eight years old going into third grade in the middle of the pokey craze, the Pokemon phenomena. And my birthday is in the summer, midsummer, August 16th, so it's right before school starts. And I just always remember going to Target and seeing this, and I was like, I gotta have it. So have you guessed what it is yet? It, this Bulbasaur, is a pencil sharpener. Let's see, looks like it still works, too. I'm not gonna sharp, sharpen the whole thing. This was like the most awesome thing to pull out first day of school in third grade. Right after hearing an announcement from the principal overhead, we had just got a new principal that year. The first thing she said was, all Pokemon cards are banned. No trading allowed. If you trade, you will have after school detention. Of course, somebody listened to that. We all went to the bathroom to trade. Some people still got ripped off. The whole point was kids were getting ripped off. They didn't know what they were trading. And they would cry to their parents and... That was what led to the ban. But this Bulbasaur, I saw it in his video and I was like, I messaged him and was like, does that Bulbasaur happen to be a pencil sharpener by any chance? I've been looking for that 
for so long, and here it is. This is so retro, so cool. We don't see them make these kind of things anymore. And this is actually why the Bulbasaur family is my favorite. Just because of this one little item. So this will definitely be joining me in every video I do as part of my background. Thanks again to I Love Milk. Check them out. He's got some cool videos and cool items as you can see. I'm so happy he sold this to me. It's going to stay right there. So... Like I said, stay tuned for more videos. That PSA submission video should be coming up shortly this weekend. So thanks for watching, friends. Take care.